Hello guys, it's the headless Janni again speaking in here. Um, now I'm planning to show you how, how to assemble uh, a, a, the latest one, J-Drone's Ardocopter Hexa center frame. And, and to assemble that one, you need to have the pack number 9, where we have all the screws, uh, nuts, uh, spacers, we have some, some cable ties, we have a uh, the radio, seven, 7 pin radio cable and there's also the 2 pin uh, radio power cable we have 2 battery straps and uh, we have those uh, 25 millimeter uh, hexagon spacers we have them 8 pieces and uh, we have 12 millimeter hexagon spacers we have them uh, what was it 80, 18 pieces. Then we have uh, 20 millimeter nylon nuts, uh, nylon screws. 12 pieces, if I'm correct. And with metal screws, uh, metal washers, metal nuts. And we have a small 6 millimeter nylon screws. And then, then also you need to have the back number one, which is uh, the main main fiberglass plates. And on, on, on back number one you have two pieces of, of main plates. You have a uh, one piece of, of uh, battery or a uh, general mount adapter plate. And naturally you have two pieces of carrier boards. Okay, and um, then the most important holes when, when we're doing the top, top plate is that they are the holes in the center. If we look let's put this one away. Yeah, that way. This way is the front in here. So the most important holes are in here. They are easy to find out because there's this kind of a edge. So one, two, three, four. Those are for the carrier board and you can also look them by the carrier board to see the holes where they are. Because the carrier board doesn't fit any other way than this, only, only those four, four holes. And then you have a second layer of, of uh, holes on an on a inner circle, which are for the, for the power PCP. And the power PCP goes over those one holes like that. All right, let's start mounting first the 25 millimeter spacers. So let's take one 25 millimeter, and if you you mount them and you lock them from from below of the whole plate with uh, with the you have the 12 millimeter hexa spacer. You put the washer and then you push it from below and just screw it like that there now you have a 12 millimeter you have washer you have a 25 millimeter okay let's put them all this one there's two there's three okay on that one corner Tight, but not too tight. Otherwise, you might be breaking the nylon. Nylon is quite kind of nice because nylon usually don't open by itself when you close it. Mm. There, there. Now we have all four ones, and then we we can always test that it's a carrier board fit. Yes, carrier board fits perfectly, so we have the right one holes. Then the next one will be uh, will be the center one. And, and you notice that on the 25 millimeters we have the thread end, it's up. Now we are using the 12 millimeters and we are putting thread ends down. And it's going on the same line. When you go from, from corner to corner, it's easy to remember that this one hole closest to the uh, 25 millimeters. And you just use a nylon nut, lock it. Like that. Take another one. There we go. Take 
another one. And one more, one more. Try to put it on the right one threads, otherwise you might have problems to screw it. Okay, there we have it. Four 25 millimeters and four 12 millimeters, and the bottom should look like this. Okay, and also four, four, four 12 millimeters on bottom with the washers, and then you have a four nuts. This is the top plate, and, and now we can put the top plate away. I have another one in here. Now, next one will be the bottom plate. This is bottom, and for, it should be going, when, when, when you make the final assembly, it's facing this way. The top plate is facing that way. So they are going to be mounted like that in the future. Okay. Uh, on this one, um, we have a lot more 12 millimeter. We are using a lot more 12 millimeters, and for, they start from from here. Okay, let's put it over there. We just one because this is again front and then from front area one to third one hole closer to this one triangle is the first one and then also one two three that one hole. Yeah. There and then we go again same place like like we remember that uh, on, on the top one plate we had uh, 25 millimeters in here on bottom one we are going to only have 12 millimeters in here same corner and we using the nuts and doing it a little bit quicker And then the other four. Like that. And don't lose your nuts. There are some spares on every packet, but still. Okay, that's the center area. Now, again, this is top, I mean the front. We also have to put spacers in here. So one goes over there. Like that. And then one on that one. Like that. Here we are, we have in here, four in the middle, two on the sides. And, and then we just turn it upside down and we, we put same ways like in here. So it goes in here and it's going to be in here. So remember, from straight up, one to third one hole. There. That's one. And then the one. One, two, three. Over there. That's it. Now we have the basic frame parts all together. Next thing will be that we are going to mount them together. And oh okay, yeah, you can you can also check them that they are correct in a way that uh, the bottom and, and uh, the the top and the bottom uh, M. M3 12 millimeters are, are correctly aligned, then then you are safe. All right, that's about it. Next time, uh, next next video, I will show how to how to mount them and how to uh, to finalize to make it look like totally look like like this. See you soon.